All right, so let's make some corrections from yesterday. Plus, this will be like a good review of what we did yesterday as well. So we did console.log. That was fine. Um, we did some variable declarations, variable assignment stuff, maybe done after variable declaration or at the same time. Update that. Um, let's log more stuff. I realized I really should have put in a couple more logs here so we could see values and things. So I'm going to add in here a console.log x, and it should print 7. But then I also want to show that we can change the value of x to like 11 and log that as well. Okay. So I'm just adding some more examples here so that we can better see how values change. Um, I also wanted to clarify some stuff about constants. Um, maybe initialized at the same time or later. There's a convention in JavaScript, which is a little bit different than what we're used to. The, this part's the same. We should use all uppercase letters for constants assigned to literals. This is a constant assigned to a literal, right? This is a string literal. But the convention is to use camel case like we would do for normal variables for constants assigned to expressions. Okay. Um, so if the yes, it's constant, meaning the value won't change once we assign it, but we're not assigning it to a literal. We're assigning it to some bigger expression, like maybe there's a calculation, maybe we call a method, whatever it happens to be. So these are the conventions for, for JavaScript. So a little bit, a little bit different. Um, let's actually log this as well. We're going to add a bunch of console.log so we can better see things. All right. And then we saw the var keyword more is just like... Um, because you're going to see it in other code, even though we're not going to use it. But let's log Y as well, just so we can, I'm trying to log everything as we go. So as you trace through this code later, it will make sense. And if you don't want to add the console logs, that's totally fine. All right, primitive types. So we focused on all the primitive, oops, yikes. All the primitive types. We did number stuff first. And then we did string. Notice that we can dynamically change the type of a variable. And we logged that. And we did B with variable embedding. And we fixed that. That was good because I had that wrong. All right, cool. And then for null, represents nothing. I noticed type, I read through all this yesterday and I'm like, my, I had typos. Similar to null being assigned. Yeah, so that's all good. Cool. And then we started doing some weird Boolean stuff. Um, I think the weirdest one is like this, this last one we did. Um, and so this is bizarre, but just think of like whenever we have some sort of a Boolean comparison operator, equality or inequality, we convert to numbers first and then the comparison is done. And if you just keep that rule in mind, like everything's going to work out okay. Um, we've got two more examples I want to put in. Um, this is a new operator that we're, we're not used to in Java um, because we use a method instead. And it's called the strict equality operator, equality operator. It is the triple equal sign, so many equal signs. The strict equality operator does not perform type coercion. Uh, 
coercion. Did I not spell that right? Coercion. There we go. All right. It does not perform type coercion. It returns false if the types are different. Trying to connect this back to Java, this is most similar, similar to Java's um, equal equal operator. Um, and it is recommended to use this operator instead of the equality operator. Okay. So the equality operator and the inequality operator in JavaScript is kind of different as we see, right? Like we can't write code like this in Java, right? Um, we can't write code like this in Java, this whole idea of automatic type coercion. So this triple equality operator or triple equal sign equality operator, the strict equality operator is more like what we're used to from a Java perspective and probably more like what we actually want to be typing. So if we write code that says like if 34 triple equals 34, these are not equal because they are different types. Which, which actually makes a lot more sense than like the stuff we saw yesterday. So we're going to console log here and say 34 is not strictly equal to 34 because they are different types. So general rule of thumb here is like you probably want to use the triple equal sign. That's really more like what we're going for. Let's do one more. I have another recommendation for you. So recommendations regarding null and undefined. Two of those new types and values from yesterday with which we're not really familiar. So um, when we're dealing with null and undefined, we should only use the strict equality and inequality operators. So that's the triple equal sign or the not, the exclamation point, and two equal signs. Comparison and the equality operator will most likely return unexpected results. Okay, so this is just a warning, like just don't, don't do this. So what we want to do is stuff like this. If a triple equals null, console.log, a is null. This is good. We like that. Um, or we could do if c triple equals undefined, console.log, c is undefined. So just stick with um, stick with the triple equal signs. Strict, stick with the strict equality and inequality operators whenever you're checking against null and undefined. We don't want like type coercion to apply. So that will save you some headaches later. All right, I'm going to run this one more time. Just make sure things look reasonable. It's looking much better. Very nice. Okay. <clears throat> 